Sicario Media. I know it's definitely been a long time since I posted, so we're gonna go ahead and try to get right back into the swing of things. Uh, we had a lot of stuff going on, and with everything going on, we just kind of like put it, put things on pause, um, but we'll be back to it. Obviously, you can see this spot is nice and open, which means Lewis's car is officially out. Now, just a bit of an update on this. Um, we have everything in it. It's pretty much ready to go with the exception of the um, the wiring harness being done on the car. So we're going to take it over to a shop in Orlando called XMP. They specialize in a lot of um, wire tucks, brake tucks, fuel, um, fuel tucks. They pretty much make it like show cars quality type things. So basically, that's kind of where this car is going to start going towards. Um, it's going to be his little street car, but it's going to be, he wants it clean, super clean. So he decided to go ahead and go with XMP and have that done. Isaac's over here struggling and put the, bro, you good? That don't go in. Bro, right here. Hey. Yeah. Oh, I don't know, I don't know about Hondas. <laughs> so this is how pretty much it ended up after we're done with everything. He went and set the height to way he, the way he wants it. We need to hit up um, Alien Alignment, which is the guy that did um, my alignment on my on the Lexus. He's the guy that did the alignment on the Lexus here. So he's going to get him taken care of as well as kind of... Um, yeah, strain out some things here because obviously you can see he's cambered in there. So he wants zip, everything zeroed out. Um, tires pretty much all straight. And um, yeah, so that's basically this. This is this setup. If you haven't seen in the previous videos, this is a F20B all motors um, setup. Uh, it has Type S cams. It's got a PLM header on it. Uh, suspension, it's got VMS wheels on there. Um, not suspension, but it has the VMS wheels. Suspension will be function, uh, and, function form. and form type ones or twos. Type ones, because one. we on a budget boy. Yeet. Um, pretty much, uh, Mugen rep. Mugen rep wing, Gen 1. Uh, it's got its little, you know, subframe braces underneath. So that's that. And then going inside, this is where he's at with this. Pretty much, this was a, um, an automatic car. We swapped it over to manual. So all that's done. Um, he's running a hybrid shifter. For any of you guys that haven't seen any of the previous videos, um, it's super notchy, but where you put it is where it's going. So I like that setup. I like that we have both setups because yeah, I mean, -tune and the hybrid. I have the K tune in here as a hybrid, so we can be able to like go back and forth between them and kind of see which one yeah. we Feels prefer. prefer yeah. Like which one will be a better, you know, track, track car, car versus you know which one will be you know a good bang for the buck for a street car or just spending money on a case. Um, so basically we're waiting on one of his buddies to come over, um, pick up the car and uh, take it back to his house. So once pretty much XMP has the spot, which should be maybe what, later on this week yeah, or so, this week, by the end of the month maybe. They, we'll go ahead and drag it up to Orlando and they'll do their thing. So then after that, it goes straight over to the tuner, um, which will be uh, Carlos tuning. He will go ahead and tune the car. He tuned my hatch. I'll give you a little kind of peek of what's going on under here if i can get it open the struggle is real right now all right every lexus i swear so this is where this is at <clears throat> obviously he's got all his his intercooler pipes fabbed up he's got this welded straight to the throttle body um little baby ebay turbo all coated um it's got wrinkled black valve covers, uh, wrinkled black turbo, and then gloss black uh, piping, and then ceramic coated um, exhaust manifold for the turbo, and then with a Mishimoto um, intercooler, radiator, it's got a Mishimoto trans cooler, which is under the car in the rear. On the other side, I'm not sure if you can see it. It's on that, it's over there, right there. Um, so that's mounted on there. Three inch exhaust, two pie cuts on the end. So, and that's the work. You pretty much, he got done at six sideways. Uh, they made his exhaust, the intercooler, 
Um, he came over the other day. He set the ride height to where he wanted to. Um, also bled the brakes. So pretty much the car is ready to go. This weekend, we will be taking it to the dyno and we'll finally be making some numbers with this thing. So we're saying a goodbye to a lot of the projects that have been kind of hanging out in the shop and they're gonna be on the road. So you're gonna see them be, you know, be at the events that we start going to. Um, you're gonna see more cars, more content going down the, you know, track event days. Um, because he's gonna, we're, we will be at um, FL2K um, with this car. It's, if it all goes, you know, well in the dyno, this will be at FL2K. He'll be running it down the track. Um, we'll also be at Cletus and Cars, which is an upcoming event. Um, so there's a lot to look forward to. Hopefully that one gets done by the end of the month. And then we are at least maybe even able to bring it to, you know, Cletus and Cars or something. Yeah. That'd be fun. At least that'd be one of his first track events that he can go to and um, start playing with the car. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. My dad wants to lower it and he wants to get the visors. <laughs> and he wants to do a music box in the back. But it's an auto all wheel drive? Yeah. We'll turbo that bitch, bro. I'm so, telling you, I think I'll be tuning out a turbo automatic. Yeah, but how long can those transmissions last for? What do you mean? So you find say, another one. So what you're saying they is they find them everywhere. Yeah. So what you say is get get a somebody get, was giving away a, a CRV for free because it was fun. So what you're saying it was is all wheel drive. I don't know. So Find what out. you're saying is, get some metal <laughs> loop. We know where it's at. Oh. Get some metal loop, throw it in the chain. Yeah, the but that one, that one you can't use the, the so stuff out of. So, literally, automatic. metal loop in the automatic trans and just send it. Because they make it for the trans. <laughs> oh, God. Uh. <laughs> Why was I not here for this shit? I know, I was like, we should wait Which for Which one there. was it? Front one. Yeah, Barely yeah. that bad. Way to go, Lewis. Y'all weren't here. You didn't wait. <laughs> like, dang. All right, so. We told you to take it off. Keep going. Bro, so you got to just drive straight up. Right, now pull it. I'm just kidding. Don't pull it. Are we trying to push it? Yeah. Right, there we go. There you just need to adjust power there. <laughs> It's the modelos that have you haven't even drank yet. <laughs> Modelo time. So, pretty much we're saying bye to this. This is the end of uh, the Integra here being built at the shop. Now it's just moving on to the next phase of the build, which is uh, XMP taking over. <laughs> I don't even know. Dang. You didn't like scratch. You didn't scratch up these or anything, right? Yeah. What? I don't got type two money. You got type two money? It's on a budget. Oh, no, he has two hooks. So later we gotta set the prelude tighter. The, the preload. That's the radiator. Bro, when you did that, the whole thing squatted back there. Look at the squat back there. Like it shouldn't do that. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm just gonna pull this strap. I'm not gonna put. Yeah, you want the same plan. I know. So. We're gonna leave Lewis to this, um, let him load up his car and strap it up since he already like, you know. The oh worst part, bro, we weren't here. <laughs> so, whatever. How, like, how did you do that though? Like, we did it. They kept pushing and they're like, pull it left, right. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Well, you see the angle. He curved the wheels. <laughs> We're almost there. We're almost there, like Jeff said. Um, this car, basically, these Lexus, I don't know why it's such a pain in the ass to do the headlights on them, but, man, they're, I don't know. We haven't got there, but everything's plugged in there. So, we do the honors of ripping it off. Jeff, go get the bumper. It just like flashed and then hey, did nothing. Like to run. You're welcome. It's like clicking and then like. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, oh, that looks so bad. 
There we go. We got a blue and like a reddish one. Well, I mean, it's warming up. No, that was good. The they just changed it up. Yeah. They changed both. Damn. I don't know. What we did. Oh no no! I just changed this one. Uh, oh both. Jesus Christ! That's blue and that's white, but it it matches the car. It's ratchet. <laughs> They're right. It's ratchet. It matches the car. I paid two hundred freaking dollars. That boat's going in. Are you gonna take it back out? So, this is on literally, this is like the little last little things we gotta do. Um, so it's ready to go to the dyno this weekend. Um, we wanna go ahead and get it as street looking as possible. Um, it's already got a tag and everything like that. So when the tuner wants to do any kind of street tuning, we're perfectly legal. So, no, it's no bolt on there. You literally just gotta pull it up. But it catches like on the bottom right here, the box. So it's like, you gotta push that and then it comes out. Like, Look at it, I'm this, telling you, I'm fucking professional. Oh, you know what, this came off of the other harness. Was was it? Oh, okay, so yeah, you gotta get that get that one pulled out and then swap it over. But we're on the home stretch, finally. Um, this is one of the Voyo's biggest projects. Not one of the biggest, I'd say, what, second this biggest? This is my, actually, project that I've actually finished. You got like, another one. You one. actually finished this, this a project. Start, this one's starting to finish, yeah. This I bought is... it a year ago and I've been working on it a year. year. Look, when the ratchet hole comes out, we need other projects. I have plenty of content. He has a I just project. need money. <laughs> I'm about to get a bank loan. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're doing a business loan for my YouTube channel. What? I need a hundred grand. <laughs> All right, so we'll be back once I uh, we go ahead and uh, get the lights back in there. And then start getting this bumper back on and we'll pretty much kind of end it there but we'll check with you in a sec the bumper on i'll go ahead and show you here but jeff wants to go ahead and fire it up so what we're gonna do is turn it on get this out the way and see what's up <laughs> damn 4 a.m so yeah kind of give you an outside look of it so here you go with the bumper on there it was jeff wild chicken the mishimoto creeping behind there later on um once we get back from the dyno what we'll do is sand this down and i'll i'll, I'll paint it and then make sure everything's kind of not like over sprayed and everything um also we're gonna come in and we'll add um this quick like quick latches pretty much you just hit a button and it'll release the, the whole bumper off i run them on my car um they're real good they don't come off or anything like that so they're pretty legit um other than that this car is pretty much where it's at we got the photographer over there in love right now literally in love <laughs> so this was it. Just a kind of quick little video, just kind of messing around in the shop, getting things uh, moved out. Pretty much getting this thing for the next step that it needs to go and pretty much go to the dyno or whatever it is. So next video, we'll catch you at the dyno. Definitely stay tuned for that one because that one, I swear, is going to be a movie. This could either be really good or it can go horribly pretty bad for, uh, for Jeff. Fingers crossed. It, it goes good. For we got him there. Like I said, we're going to go and fix that bumper before we go to the dyno, but it's ready to go. It is an idle because it has big, uh, bigger injectors in it. So that's why when I turned it on, it just kind of shut off. Otherwise, it's just going to like flood the motor out. So what we'll do is the tuner will go ahead and make a base mat for it and um, get it to idle by itself, like on its own. And then we'll go ahead and head to the, like, they'll put it on the dyno and everything and start doing power pulls and everything. So... So if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, share it. Um, we have a lot more content going to be coming up. Um, definitely apologize. We haven't dropped any kind of videos or anything that, like that lately, but we're going to be back at it again with weekly uploads. This week we'll probably drop two. Um, it'll be this video and then also the dyno video for Jeff. And then we'll be do, probably doing another one for Lewis. I have some stuff that I got for the hatch that I need to show you guys. I'll probably make an update video on that. Cheesing. <laughs> So like I said, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.